up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am so excited about today's video. I am here in New York City to try P-Volve. As you guys know on my channel, I am obsessed with the Victoria's Secret models and they just announced the roster of models who are going to be walking in the show this fall. A couple months ago, I worked out with Steve Zim who also has trained a bunch of the Victoria's Secret models. I've tried their diets, I've tried their skincare routine. Today I'm gonna be trying P-Volve. A lot of the models do this specific workout routine. So I'm super excited to have this unique opportunity and see what it's all about. I'm Steven Pastorino. I'm the creator and founder of Pevolve. This is the culmination of many years of fitness and exercise. I started at a really young age playing football in high school. Learned all about the body, learned about nutrition, weightlifting, sports training. From there, I transitioned to bodybuilding and also as a swimmer. All this has kind of come together to create Pevolve. I've tried everything. I've done the bar and the Pilates and the cardio and the running, the cycling. Based on my own experience and based on the conversations with a lot of women that I was meeting, they weren't reaching their goals. With Pevolve, I've been able to create new equipment, create new workouts. It's all based on movement, based around the joints of the body, leans their body out, gets their muscles activated, and creates creates a very natural shape and form for everyone's body type. Some of my big clients are Blanca Padilla, I, I trained Devin Windsor, Romy Strid, Hannah Ferguson, Nadine Leopold, Noel Capri, Carly Clausen. Most of that group of those supermodels, I, I've worked with them. Are right, you ready to get started? Yeah, so I'm I always ready. start with a warm up. Remember, everything we're doing is focused around the joints. I'm gonna pretend like you're going to the casting tomorrow and I'm gonna okay. try to I'm going get to you ready casting. for it. And, and you know, for that, something we wanna do is we just wanna tighten everything up and we wanna lift your glutes up. We'll go through a little stretch. You're gonna step back with the right leg. A lot of it's stepping pattern, so it's all functional. Want your heel all the way up. When your heel's all the way up, that's when your butt is gonna function the most. And then you're gonna stretch up to the ceiling this way, get a big extension through your stomach, bring your arms down, and then step back in. Okay, and we're always moving, so it's constant movement. I'm training motion, I'm not training muscles. So if you wanna to tone your thighs, I'm not gonna sit there and just do leg lifts and leg extensions. I'm focused on your ankle and your hip. How many different motions gonna take those joints through to get all these different reactions out of all these muscles here? And that's really the secret to P-Volve. It's where the focus is. So we don't wanna put downward pressure on the thighs. The way we do that is instead of the knees going forward, you'll feel it, the pressure goes this way, we shift it back and the pressure goes to the posterior chain. It's a small tweak, but it's one of the biggest things that is gonna help you get rid of the ball in the top of the thighs, which is a major problem with a lot of people. Everything's gotta be perfect. Every little rotation and step and angle and position of the foot is gonna determine if the exercise works or not. You're just trying to get the muscles to stretch and turn on. There you go. I've like never moved my body like this before. <laughs> I spend thousands of hours in the gym and there's always these hurdles you have to overcome when you're working with different people. There's always muscles that are inactive, body parts that aren't turning on, getting toned, leaning out. With this to tone, hard to reach places, one being the inner thigh. There was nothing out there that existed that was really working, so that's when I started to kind of come up with new workout equipment. This is my pee ball right here. This is a ball and we'll use it, it goes right between your legs. This is gonna work everything in your thighs and hips. We have two systems running down here. We have the outer hip, outer thigh, outer butt, and then we have the inner thigh, the inner hip, which is down here in the groin, and then the inner butt. And for, for that, this is what we're gonna There's use. There's an inner butt? Oh yeah. Oh, I, I, I break this thing down okay. into like six different parts. Oh my God, okay. The next thing is ankle bands. This is really important. This creates crazy muscle tone. Next thing is the slant board. It just lifts your heels up a little bit, but it makes everything much more intense. So it's gonna work your butt more. It's gonna force your muscles in your calves and your thighs to have to stabilize. For upper body, we'll use uh, the P-band. So this is the other piece of equipment I created. It goes around your, your hands and your wrists, and this is gonna work everything upper body. I'll usually start with this, this heavy ankle band. You're gonna step into it, and this is gonna help get your butt and your hips fired up. Keep your knees neutral, keep your knees back, and just take a step to the right. Catch the floor, you can sit a little bit. Everything's engaged. You should feel the tension a lot on the outside, and then control it, bring it back. So just a little step out. Just like a tiny movement? Yep, and what you're trying to focus on right now is that left tip taking you out and taking it in. This is a very mindful workout. So every little step, little motion that you do, you wanna really pay attention to what muscles are working and what's taking you through the motion. You gotta really master your body here. At this point, when I try a new workout, I can usually say, this is a combination of yoga and this, or repurposing moves from other things. This is the first time I've tried a workout and felt like everything was completely new and unique and different. I'm gonna give you some hand weights. 
These are two pounds, but they'll get heavy really fast. Okay. All right, and this is, you know, when you're using these, just focus on stretching the triceps and the biceps, keeping the shoulders engaged, and you always want good posture throughout the whole workout. I'll keep reminding you of that. So you're gonna step out, just like the warm up. you're gonna stretch, you're gonna push that arm out. See how I kind of squeeze that right butt, lock my right leg out, and then very slow, bring it back, and now I got my chest up, shoulders back. Three, two, one. All one motion, stretch, and then back. Last one, hold it here. Take your arms out, okay? You're gonna go one way. This goes to the ceiling, this goes to the floor. See how my hips popping out? Bring it back to the neutral position, hold it here. Good, and the arms are driving the hips, and then bring it back, stop, switch. So now your hips are going this way, so we're working the hips, the ankles, and then once we start adding these rotations and flexions, we're working the spine. Everything's being snuck in there. So we're killing two birds with one stone. Because it's a physical therapy approach, it's very scalable. You can make this thing so intense where you're getting someone ready to walk the VS runway, or we can scale it back depending on your fitness level. This is a VS workout, so we're gonna keep advancing it and throwing some equipment on. We're gonna combine the band with the glider. My heel is up on the glider. I'm gonna push on an angle like this. See how I kind of push on a diagonal? This is gonna, now this is gonna work everything on the outside. Ooh. So a lot of girls, you know, get a little bit of, of a bump right here. Three, two, one. Push, stretch. And you're controlling it with the left butt. Remember, keep the band tight. We would do small movements, but with the tools, they would escalate very quickly and pinpoint specific muscles. Also, each move was super dynamic and multi-muscular in the sense that maybe my upper body would be stretching, but my lower body would be working really hard. Now we'll move on. I'm gonna throw some ankle weights on you, okay? okay. And we'll go light today. But the casting is tomorrow. It's all right, what's, what's coming okay. next is gonna be really intense. Okay. I guess I've only done lunges where my feet are parallel to each other. You know, when you do that, you're just limiting your body. There's so many ways to tweak exercises. Once you start to understand how this body works, there's so much more you can do with it. All right, so this Yay. is a slam board. This is really, this is also like a more advanced tool. Let's just push it here. Let's do a little leg lift, hold it there, and then come down and catch. So this butt is gonna control you going up and control you going down. Bring it right to your waist. So don't bring it all the way up. And keep it a little bit out to, outside of the hip. Okay. That's gonna make your thigh work more. Hold it there and see how soft I come down? Breathe, use your stomach. That's it, hold, come down soft. It's these little tiny motions that sculpt your legs out. I feel like this board also mimics the height of their heels they wear in the show. Too. You got it. <laughs> so when you elevate that foot, you put yourself in heels, it's a whole new game. All those stabilizing muscles through the ankle and knee, the thigh and the calves are now gonna be prepared for that foot motion. I recently did a beauty pageant for the first time and the toughest part about the whole thing for me was walking in heels. I really wish that I had had the P-Volve angular step at that time because that basically prepares you for walking in heels. I've never seen a trainer do that before. And it's so awesome, especially for the models who are walking in heels all the time. It's a perfect way to segue into that without actually having to work out in stilettos. You know what's interesting about this workout? The better you get at it, the harder it gets. Yes, you're engaging, you know what you're doing. <laughs> you're engaging a lot more muscles. Everything's activated. I mean, it gets really intense. Three, two more. It's crazy how pinpointed each exercise is. Like it feels like someone's just like screwing a screwdriver into each muscle one at a time. We're focused here on the arms, the equipment is on the hands, but let's not throw away, you know, the stomach, the butt, everything that's happening, the hips below. So precise. I can never just do one thing. I gotta work the full body with every exercise. Pull that stomach in, there you go, pull it out. Seven, you gotta protect your lower back, so your abs really gotta fire up here. Two, good, every time your butt goes back, you're lengthening everything through your torso. Last one, squeeze out from here, and rest. That's amazing. Feeling it, right? It's like the shoulder exercise of your dreams. The hardest part was all the upper body stuff with the gloved bands. Oh my God, I have never felt such deep screaming in my shoulders. 
It was just all throughout my shoulder. Every muscle was firing. All right, so we're gonna finish this off. I'm gonna use the P-ball. We're gonna target in on everything on the inside, all the adductor muscles, everything that connects them to your groin, all the way up to your butt and your lower stomach. Just by standing there, that pressure of the ball is pushing into those inner thighs. Just like putting the band on or the band around the hands, you're adding that activation through the resistance. All right, so go to your back. We'll just start simple and then we'll kind of progress from there. Bring right. your butt an inch above the mat. Okay, using your glutes, I want you to do a little pelvic lift, squeeze the ball, release, and then let it down a little bit without touching the mat. So your butt takes you up, takes you in, takes you back, and then lowers you. Hold it there, and let's just do eight little squeezes. Pull in, but don't pulse. Just hold, and then release. Hold, and release. Last two, squeeze, one more. Good, rest a second. What was really cool about the ab exercises in this routine was that all of them required firing your glute, which was exaggerated by the P-ball. And I never ever think to like tightly engage my butt when I'm doing abs. Now, we're gonna change this a little bit. You're gonna take your feet wide, put on a little angle like this. You just change the foot position, you're gonna feel it in the complete opposite part of your body. Take your butt up, drive your knees in, squeeze the Whoa. ball, release, and then let it down a little bit. So you can work a completely different part of your body just by changing the foot position. I got one more exercise for you. Okay. It's all lower stomach and butt. I will hit this two to three times in a workout with any model I have before anything that's coming up. So your arms go behind you and you're gonna take it all the way up this way. Let your shoulders stretch. Okay, it's all butt. You drive it all the way up, squeeze the ball, release, and then come down. Keep this tight. Eight, squeeze from here, lock that out. Seven, six, Five, four, three, two, rest. Good, really good. Wow. Yeah. We've reviewed so many workouts on my channel now and this is definitely like one of my favorites. She did an amazing job, crushed the workout. For the first time doing it, some of the moves are really complicated and a little awkward and different, but I'm impressed. This workout was really cool because I put my body into positions that I would have never thought to do before. Instead of keeping my feet parallel in a lunge, sometimes they were 90 degrees, sometimes they were angled, and each movement of my foot affected the way I felt it throughout my body and which muscles were activated. This workout really requires you to be really mindful. Steven was consistently correcting my form in the most minute ways that totally made me feel things more deeply and it made me realize how sometimes in the gym I'm in my own world and like going through the motions but when you are really mindful about the workout that you're doing you can get completely different results. I'm really sad that I can't continue to do this for a longer period of time with Steven but I'm actually really excited to try their streaming service and if you want to try it yourself be sure to check out my link below because it usually costs $29.99 per month, but with my link below, it's only $19.99 for the first three months. So pretty great deal to try the workout that several Victoria's Secret models do. I know in the past when I've done these types of challenges, a lot of people ask me for more details so they can try and recreate it at home. This time, you can actually work out with Steven from the comfort of your home. Also, if you live in the New York City area, be sure to check out p in person to work out with Steven himself or even some of his master trainers. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment below with what you wanna see next, and as always, subscribe so we can keep on going on more adventures together. Thanks so much for sticking around for this one. Have a great day.